The topic of bread comes up many times throughout the Bible. And so I put up the topic Bible bread today. There's even a brand of certain bread that comes from the Middle East that they call Bible bread. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what Christ himself said. Uh, Matthew 4.4, 4, he's made it very clear, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So I think that's a good question for us. What, what are we eating? You know, physical food certainly sustains physical life. But if we're going to have eternal life, then we better be eating a different kind of food. Isaiah talked about that very type of sustenance in chapter 55, right at the very beginning of that chapter. Notice what he says. He said, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. But he's not talking about just any old water. He says, you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Not talking about the dollar that might be in your pocket. He says, yes, come, buy wine, milk, without money, without price. But he's making the same point that Christ was making, that it has to be the spiritual sense. He says, why do you spend money for what is not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy? Don't we find ourselves in that position all too often? We're spending our money, we're focusing our time, we're distracted by so many things that has nothing to do with Jesus Christ, the true gospel, and our spiritual health. All too often, life draws us that way, pulls us that way, and we buy things that we don't need, not just physical things, but we're, we're so distracted. And yet, here Isaiah mirrors exactly what Christ says. He says this at the end of verse 2, Listen careful to me and eat what is good. Let your soul delight itself in abundance. You see, Isaiah and Christ we're right on the same page. Life is so much more than just striving for physical things, for physical bread. So let's ask ourselves at this time, how much am I really eating that Bible bread, that spiritual bread that Christ himself spoke of? Let's make it our goal to change our diet and eat of that spiritual bread of Christ. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.